Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Potter World Locations. And we're we're finally back after a very long time. What are you doing here, Zed One? Hello. Um, sorry that this series I haven't done this recently. I was having some technical issues that made it so that I couldn't really get on Potter World, and when I did and recorded it at the same time, it didn't work out very well. This music is really loud. You can't hear, but I can, and it's... There we go. Much better. Anyway, um, but like I promised that I would do, this series is finally back. Yay! So, to start off, I'm going to say what we're going to actually be touring to is I'm going to show you how to get to all of the common rooms today. We're going to start off with how to get to the Hufflepuff common room. First off, from the Great Hall, you just want to go right up this staircase. Up here. Um, and then keep going up. Oh, wow. I didn't know that Filch actually patrolled Hogwarts. It looks kind of like he follows Mrs. Norris as well. Well, there you go. That's the thing that happens. Let's switch over to Ethania so we can speed things up a little bit. You're going to go down the staircase here. And then if you go into this, this doorway, then you will find some barrels. Hufflepuff secret switch. Very secret. Then you want to walk over here into this big barrel. And that you can use to close it as well. There you go. And then that is it. That's down, and then you're into the Hufflepuff common room. Now for the next common room. Next, I'm going to be touring to the Slytherin common room. You want to go up the stairs once again. Wee! And then this time, once again, also, you want to go down here, but stop where you see the sign for the dungeons and the screen carpet. And you want to run down here. Not letting me cast to send you because it's not charged up yet. And just down past all these eerie cells and things. And then you want to go down another flight of stairs. Because the dungeons are very deep, you know. And then you're at the start of the dungeons. There's lots of lots of tunnels for you to explore, but you just want to keep on going straight. And um, you're going to continue straight for a little while, and then it's right here where you see this mossy bit. You're going to hit the button next to it, and it opens the secret entrance, and that'll close it as well. Or so I thought. Oh, hello, person from Slytherin. I'm a raving club, but I know where all the common rooms are, so. Yeah. This is the Slytherin common room. It looks, it's bigger and grander than some of the other common rooms and I think it looks pretty cool. Now on to the next common room. The next common room we have is the Gryffindor common room. So for that you once again want to go up the staircase. Sorry for the lag. I apologize. And then you want to keep going past the second floor, past the third floor. Then you want to go right past the fruit painting. Then this is, yep, the fifth floor. Then there's the sixth floor. And then all the way up to the seventh floor. I believe it's about as high as you can go without using spells. That leads to Dumbledore's office. And, yep, there's a creative writing class going on. But I am doing a tour, so I'm not doing the class. I actually did a class earlier today as well. So, I'm good for the time being. Um, so, you want to... Yeah, run past Dribbler's office, run down this big, long corridor, and up there, if you go up these this winding staircase a little bit, that's the, um, what's it called? The divination, right? The divination tower, where in the movie they did divination. There's a corner back there by the tower, and then you want to run along here. And I think I missed pointing out the room of requirement as well. Oh well. Anyway, 
And then you'll see the painting of the fat lady, which, oh right, they all need a button to be pressed. Now, so you press the button and you're through. There's Griffin's robes and um, and sitting area and the book. If I do that, yep, you can open and close it. And nice little fireplace, which you can use flu. You can use the flu network with, which I don't actually have any flu powder. They're transition. They're still working on this, I believe. Um, it's not fully implemented yet. Anyway, now to on to my common room, the Ravenclaw common room. Let's go. And last but certainly not least, let's real quick feed ourselves is of course Ravenclaw my house an awesome house just like all the other ones and so to do it to get to the house hello Filch you want to go up the staircase just like all the other ones you might want to get out rest of momentum and jump down and then you want to go on the second slab up at the bottom of this staircase. And you want to jump into the biggest painting just like this. And you get to the Transfiguration Courtyard. Yay! And then you want to stay under this roofed part here. And run all the way down this. Don't go past this corner here. Go into this doorway. Run down to the end of this hallway. Turn right. I apologize for the lag. Can't really help it. Um, and then when oh, I appear to have frozen. Let's see if I can fix that. And we're back. Sorry about that. Turns out my recorder sort of froze as well, so this is actually a different clip, and I'm gonna try and edit them together. Probably will work. If it doesn't, I'll probably just scrap the video. Hang on, I just record realized that my um my recorder is a little bit off center of the screen of minecraft so i'll fix that there we go anyway so you come from this flag hall place and then you want to turn right into this carpeted hallway and then you want to run down this hallway oh whoops wrong spell and then you'll see this as a landmark it's there's a men's bathroom here i don't know why there isn't a woman's bathroom nearby but there just isn't and there's a right turn here i apologize for the lag and then a left turn here where you go out into this bigger hallway also carpeted and you want to turn when you enter into it you want to turn right like so. I hope I don't crash again. And, well, I didn't crash while recording, actually. I was trying to find my way to Ravenclaw. And then I crashed at this spot. Anyway, and then you want to come up this big staircase. You'll see these Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw flags. And then you will go up past the Ravenclaw flags. And, sorry, you will see this confusing sort of area, but just turn around, and there's a hallway there, but you want to go up this tower, which will take me a little while. And here we are at the top of the winding staircase. If I try and not lag my way off, you can see all the windy bits beneath me. And then you come in here, and in the books, you actually you get asked a, a riddle, and you have to answer the riddle. But on Potter World, you just have to hit the button, and you can come inside, and there's another button to close it. But it actually just opens it again, because it also automatically closes. Sorry for the lag. I don't know why I'm lagging all of a sudden at the end of the video. It's really bad. Sorry. Whoa. I am... I've never noticed that before. Wow, look at that starry ceiling. That's really cool. Anyway, this is the Ravenclaw Commons with the 
the uh what you might call it the the statue of Rowena Ravenclaw in the middle and stuff. So that this is where we're ending because that's all that's how to get to all of the common rooms. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you have suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Bye!